Right, here we are joined by 8EV news presenter Simon O'Rourke. Right everybody, welcome to our match vlog. This one is for Sunderland versus Rotherham at the Stadium of Light. It's a late kickoff tonight, quarter eight. We're going to be getting down there, meeting Stephen at the statue, getting a few fans on the channel, and then obviously the match vlog. Like target on the video, 150 likes if you haven't, hit the thumbs up. Right, we're down outside the stadium. Stephen, watch the line up tonight. Exactly the same as Saturday. Bench and all. Patterson, Gooch, O'Neill, Bart, Sirkin, Clark, Evans, Neil, Pritchard, Sims, and Stewart. And on the bench, Bass, Alisi, Wright, Matete, Embleton, Robertson, Hume. So exactly the same squad as Saturday, except, like I said, we've got somebody new at the wheel. Aye, ah, Mowbray. So we're going to start asking a few supporters what they think about Tony Mowbray and obviously the score predictions. Right, here outside the ground with Barry ready for the Rotherham game. Barry, what's your views on Tony Mowbray being at the wheel? Wasn't really my choice, but at the end of the day, I'll back him as the, as the coach and that's all we can do. But I think in hindsight, I think it will, hopefully it'll turn out to be a good decision, but I think who was available, I think he was the best choice. How confident are you about today's game? I'm highly confident. I think 3-1 to Sunderland today. Sorry, that's what passing Alex Neil's red might army. I don't know. I don't know where he's been the last working week. But what, what, what's your score prediction for tonight? Why I think that lad's been there, uh, stuck in a crack den somewhere. Like what's your score prediction for tonight, Barry? Three one to Sunderland. Three one, right? Happy days. Jesus Christ! Outside with some Rotherham fans. Obviously, we've got to speak to some of their supporters, whether we want to or not. But no, only joking, lads. Only joking. How confident is about tonight? Yeah, I think probably one apiece draw. One apiece. Close game, very, I'd say, 1-0 either team. 1-0 either way, so you're, also, you're very down the middle, I suppose. Yeah. What do you reckon, Jürgen? Um, I'm going 2-0 Rotherham, I'm quite confident. You know, Rotherham have never beat Sunderland at home since 1959. Is tonight is tonight the night to beat that voodoo? I, I think so. We right, well, I'm going to come hunting for you if you do. Yeah. What do you reckon, I'm going 0-0. Nil, 0-0? Nil. Nil, nil. Nil, nil. Loads of optimism here, like, isn't it? I'm going 0-0. 2-1 Millers. 2-1 Millers, right, so there's a bit of a mix, mixed... Mixed views from the Rotherham fans, however they all think it's going to be a close game and I think all Sunderland fans will agree. They give us a torrid time last season, but last season you were all giants. And you have lost some of your tall players now, haven't you? I don't know why Michael Smith left you, but anyway, he was a Geordie bastard anyway, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> well, you know what I mean? Well, typical Geordie, you know what I mean? But anyway, thanks very much lads and all the best. Cheers, Right, I'm joined by Stephen and Jack, I want to get some score predictions off them. Right, Tony, we're a bit more is just in the door. What do you reckon the score's going to be and who do you think's going to score? Well, you know, he likes a draw, but I think I'm going to go on 2-1. And who do you reckon's, reckon's going to score? SES. Right, Stuart, Stuart and Stims. Stims. I'll be over the moon with that, lad. And what about you, Jack? 2-1. 2-1. Right. And what do you reckon the score's going to be? Who do you reckon's going to score? Uh, I hope Ellis Sims and um, I'm going to see Pritchard. Pritchard, Pritchard, it's a good shout. Like He's due a goal, hasn't he? And anyway, lads, cheers for coming on the channel. Thanks, mate. Right, I'm outside with Connor. Connor, what do you want about Tony Mowbray being in charge? He seems decent. Seems decent. You happy with him? Yeah, yeah. I think the majority of people are, but give him a chance, yeah. Yeah, we've got to give him a chance. We're going to back him 100, aren't yeah, we? Yeah. What do you think about tonight against Rotherham? They gave us a tough time last season. I'm guessing either a draw one one or a win two one. So you think it's going to be a close game, and you yeah. reckon it's either going to be a draw or we just edge it? Yeah. Who do you reckon's going to score? Probably Pritchard or Stewart. Right, well, happy either way. Really. To be fair, Patterson can score them both. I wouldn't. I couldn't give a, yeah. give a toss along we win. Anyway, thanks very much, mate. Cheers. Yes. Right, here we are joined by 8EV news presenter Simon O'Rourke. Simon, welcome to the channel and how do you think about Tony Mowbray being in charge? Um, I think under the circumstances of the last few days it, it seems a sensible appointment. Whether a sensible appointment is what people actually want, I don't know, but I think where Sunderland find themselves at the minute, he's a safe pair of hands, seems okay. Yeah, there's been pretty mixed mixed views from many of the Sunderland fans, but me, my personal opinion is he's the best who was out there and available at the time and he's got good credentials at this level and working with youngins. So, on that, what do you think? How do you think tonight's going to go against Rotherham? Well, that's interesting. I think everything you said is exactly right, and I think that's that's basically his CV for the job that you said right there. Yeah. Uh, tonight, oh, he's interesting. He's done a training session. I'm glad he's done that, so he's had a chance to at least shake the players' hands, look them in the eye, that kind of thing. He's just named his team. It's an unchanged team, which yeah. I don't think is a massive surprise, is it? Uh, look, I think it would be amazingly good for the football club if they could get a win tonight. Any sort of positive result, I think, would be very important to see. What are you going for? Um, you know what? I think sometimes things turn around. Obviously, Rotherham kind of had Sunderland's number last season, yeah. but um, 
I think things are a bit different now. I think Sunderland might, might sneak this. Score prediction. <laughs> Come on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going until you give us one, Simon. Uh, well, uh, no clean sheet tonight. 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. Yeah. Right, happy days. Thank you very much, mate. Right, here we're joined again outside the ground for the Rotherham game, joined again by Acacia. Acacia, how are you doing? You all right? All right, yeah, I'm good. Tony Mowbray, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good about it, to be honest, yeah. Um, I, th I wasn't too good about it when he first came in, but obviously he's from Saltburn, and, isn't he? Um, so I thought, mm, that'll be a good appointment. And he's done the team line-up today, which is good. Um, You're still going to back him all the way, though, aren't you? I'm backing him all the way. And what's your score prediction going to be? 3-0. 3 0. Who's going to get the goals? Ross Stewart, Sims, and hopefully Embo when he's on the. F when he's Three different yeah. scorers, and Embo's Embo to come off the bench. Yeah. Happy days. Thanks again, Akisha. Yeah, oh, <laughs> the bloody knees. Oh. Right outside, join my Aaron Rotherham tonight. How do you think it's going to go? Uh, I think we're going to win. I'm confident with the game, but even though we've snuck, Alex Nils went out. Uh, who? Alex who? We didn't Alex. care about him anymore. Mowbray's at the way now, isn't he? Aye, uh, but. He's, Middlesbrough. he's from Middlesbrough, ah, though. Oh, he was a Jordy. And he still won a CFA Cup. You know what I mean? Uh, What's your score prediction for tonight? I'm confident with 1-0. 1-0. Who do you reckon is going to get on the score sheet? Sims. Sims. I'll be over the moon if he does. Happy days. Cheers, mate. See right, outside with Erin and Freya. They've just said the big fans of the channel. Right, Erin more than Freya. <laughs> she, she watched, she'd recognise us, she didn't. Yeah. But anyway, Rotherham tonight. What's your score prediction for tonight? Um, I'd say about a 1-1 draw. 1-1 draw, so you're going down the middle. What yeah. do you reckon? 2-0. 2-0 to Sunderland. What's the who's going to score? Uh, Ross Stewart and Jack Clark. Yeah. Well, who do you think's going to score? Um, <laughs> I think it's going to be Jack Clark. Yeah. Who do you think's going to score? I'd say either Ross Stewart or Ella Sims. Either way, you're not bothered, as, yeah. long, as, we, as long as we get a goal. But you yeah. said we're going to draw anyway. Yeah. A draw and a win. Let's see what happens. Right, joined by Lathan and Caden outside the ground. Lads, are you looking forward to tonight's game? I am, yeah. Are you happy with Mowbray? Aye, uh, experienced manager, knows this league inside and out, so it should be interesting. What's your views? Uh, I'm just looking forward to it. I'll Are you happy with Mowbray? I don't know. I don't, don't really know, know who You're going to see what he does first? Yeah. But you don't know who he That's honesty, I, I, that's honesty. I, I, I don't think I'm going to judge him on this game because it's his first game. Yeah. But, What's your score prediction for tonight? 4-0. Uh, 4-0, four nil. Four nil, I like that. I like that. It's like he's been drinking what I normally drink. What's your score prediction, mate? Well, realistic or optimistic? What do you think it's going to be and what do you want it to be? I think it'll be 2-2. Two, two. But I want it to be 3 1. Right, happy days. Either way, we're all going to be happy, aren't we? Yeah. Right, cheers, lads. Right, outside now, we're joined by some right ruffians here. We've got French flags flying, obviously, in uh, for Michu, who's obviously joined us, and potentially Abdullah Bar, who's uh, set any, due to be announced anytime soon. Lads, are you happy with Tony Mowbray? Yes. Yeah. You might, really when you good. nod, you've got to speak. Yeah, he's yeah. got a really good attitude towards the game. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, he's I got agree. good, good room percentage. Sorry, but he's going to need to put, in, put on a good impression. Uh, I think he will. I think he's known for that. Well, are you happy with Mowbray? Oh, I was uh, Tony Mowbray. Six you as well? I reckon, yeah. What's your score predictions for tonight? I reckon 2-0. 3-0. 3-1. 3-0. So all victories. Yeah. All victories. Yeah. victories. Right, lads, what's your favourite Sunderland song? Fuck Alex now. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't quite sing it, but it's a song that we loved on Saturday. Anyway, let's get inside. Cheers. Bobby Curler. Feeling the Norwich this. 
missing loads of chances and should be putting them away. It's still done. Kept it in. Good. Oh, oh no. Good try free kick. Good area. Matt, the keeper works on. Ah. Chance. Oh, man. Use them, Serkin. Air use. Do you know what I mean? Chance! In again, man! This is again. It's just like Norwich game, this. On you, it's Stuart! Oh! Keep it alive, keep it alive! Clark. We as well have a pop. And it's a lot. Steve! Steven! Steven! What's that? <laughs> 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 How's the referee getting on? Oh, he's fucking doing super. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, he doesn't give it. Thank. Lads played well. And also, we're talking to the man in red and white. Let's go on. We're going to go on. We're going to go on. We're going to go on. Go on. Yay! Yeah, someone's kept that quiet. My UK Arbor. What's your deal? Get that quiet. We've got the Man United Arbor. The Boar sign. Jeez. Great, Stephen. How did you see that off, Dan? For me, similar to Saturday. It's similar to Saturday, but we have we've had far more chances tonight than what we did against Norwich. It's got to come to the point where we've got to start putting these chances away. Basically, we've played some brilliant football and we've had some good opportunities, but we just haven't been able to break that back in the net. Hopefully, we can solve that issue in the second half. But one thing I've got to say, he was shite on Saturday and he's freaking shambolic today. That referee is an absolute disgrace. He shouldn't be allowed to referee the same team two, two games in a row. It's an absolute disgrace. He's absolutely shite, shocking, and he's fucking robbing us blind. <laughs> <laughs> no, Rotherham players are still not out. See you there, the Rotherham players struggle. Gooch, out wide, lifts one in the box. Chest down by Sims. Molly oh, oh. Noah. Clark tapping on the two of them. Saturday when we had so many chances but we could not score but as soon as we got our first goal we were just on fire the entire team from freaking Patterson all the way up was absolutely phenomenal like the work rate from every single one of them was absolutely tremendous and you can't fault any of them who's your man of the match in? I knew you were going to ask us this week and I was sitting there thinking about it before the end of the game and I was like it's hard to pick I think me I'm going to go for Gooch I think Gooch was absolutely phenomenal I mean there's some of them so many of them were brilliant but the thing for me I know is about Gooch He's sprinting constantly. It was the 93rd minute and he's still sprinting about covering things, always creating things. Uh, I mean, Luke 9 again was phenomenal. I could go on. Corey the whole team. What about Corey Evans? But the whole team was, he was outstanding. outstanding. The whole team was outstanding. 
me personally, I'd probably just give it a gooch, but to be fair, you could give it to anyone. Well, I'm, I'm going to give it to the Loch Ness draw, but two goals gets the man of the match for me. But I'll tell you what, Tony Warbury's Red White Army. Fucking <laughs> okay, come on!